Have you ever thought about what you would do if tomorrow your country gets attacked and you are basically in isolation for three or more months and you don't know when it's gonna stop and you have to do something? Me neither, but right now I'm trying to find things to do. So here's a video of me doing things while there's a war because I'm trying to distract myself. So this is a video of what I do during a war. So somehow I decided to make a cardigan one of the reasons I decided to make it is because I already had a lot of the materials I needed. So I have things like this, I don't know what they're called, but yeah. And I had a bunch of colorful threads. I had those because I used to make bracelets. And I have those because we learned how to crochet in school. And I already crocheted stuff like this very useless things, I don't even know what they're for. So I didn't have a guide on how to make a cardigan, I just knew I'm gonna make little squares and then make them a cardigan. My technique was, I took the cardigan, the, the shape that I already liked, put it down and then made some squares, put the squares on top of the cardigan, took a picture and like imagined how many more squares I need of the same size to fit a cardigan. So that's what I did. Yeah, so I ended up making a lot of squares, even more than I counted in my picture that I took of the cardigan with the squares. I decided that I need to make up vests too someday because I like crocheted vests and how they look. I crocheted this line of white on the sleeve there because I thought it wasn't big enough for my arm. ended up adding more things as I go. Yeah, this whole project is really improvised. I was just making up things as I go. So this is the cardigan after I washed it in like lukewarm water with hair condition. I read that if you do that it becomes like more soft and loosen. It actually worked because like it feels less stiff and loosened up. I can button it up until the last one but I like it more when it's... So this is the cardigan. Let's unbox my three books. We have this app in Ukraine, like our government app. In Ukraine, our documents are... There's an app. You have your documents, your social security number, car ID and stuff, and your COVID certificate. After you get vaccinated, you get a notification that says you are eligible to get a gift card thing that you can only spend on your cultural development. You can buy books, you can go to the movies, to a theater, or you can spend it on like tickets to the train to travel and stuff. So I bought books with my... Oh, by the way, after the war started, they changed it so that people can spend their gift certificate for like other things for like food and stuff. 
no one had time to think about developing themselves culturally when there's a war but I already ordered mine so I got books for mine and I chose let's see what I got because it was four months ago when I ordered this and I don't remember that now so these are my books let's see so first thing I got is a Deadpool comic book Let's unbox. This is like album unboxing. Is this how Marvel fans feel like when they unbox? Ooh, it looks pretty. Ooh, you know why I chose that pool? Because from the movie it should be funny. And I wanted a comic book because they are so cool. Okay, next. It's called. Machina Chasu, Time Machine. And I ordered it because I read the description and it sounded cool. Oh my god, made in Harkiv. It's basically like a fantasy book and it sounded really cool. So I ordered it. It's just you have to read it. I can't really show you much. <laughs> okay, next is a book in English. It's The Best of Sherlock Holmes this one i just ordered it because i watched the sherlock holmes series and they're obviously really interesting so i thought the book should be interesting too it has some drawings and stuff some illustrations oh th this one is about egypt and pyramids and stuff i've been to egypt i've seen the pyramids but i also want to know all the cool stuff about it also this book when i read the description it was not just like this here is a pyramid it was blah 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 it was like in a cool manner described or something i don't remember why like i remember it was something cool oh it says this book belongs to and i have to put my name there the last page looks really cool too this one about aliens it's a comic book about aliens i ordered it because I read the description and it was like, this comic book is basically aliens explaining humans in their, like how they understand them. Like they see humans, they act weirdly and aliens explain it, how our natural things are weird to them and stuff. It should be really cool. And it also looks really cool too. It looks really pretty. I'm gonna open something and read. It says, I'm enjoying this. And then this one says, that's really dangerous. So like people enjoy really dangerous things like going hiking when they can fall any minute and die basically. But yeah. Okay, this one, this is the last one. It's called Holub Hanadi, which is a pigeon called Hanadi. That's his name. And this is a comic book about the pigeon called Hanagi. I don't know, but it should be cool because whole of Hanagi sounds great to me. <laughs> what is this? Look at this. Look at this. So basically, it's it's a comic book about the pigeon Hanagi and he is very independent and he he doesn't go easy on anyone, basically. It has cool little illustrations there are six books here so yeah those are my three books that i got because i got vaccinated but <laughs> i will probably make something else too because i have like a bunch of threads left so i might make something else too i don't know what this took maybe two weeks or one and a half week of me just making those squares and then making a cardigan so yeah i'm satisfied when you find out that you can just make clothes sensational yeah this is it thank you for watching the video and i'll see you in my next one if i don't die say thank you to russia goodbye